Hello, everybody, and welcome here to Memphis Motorsports Park as we're getting set for race number 13 of the NR2003 Diva Truck Series. After tonight's race, we'll be just past the halfway mark in their first season, and we'll have 12 more stops left to go until we crown a champion. Naomi Hudson starts on the pole position for this evening's race. She comes this race 11th in the point standings. Alongside her, Ruby Walker, who I mistakenly said Ruby White last week in the 72. It was actually Ruby Walker who went to victory lane. And Walker moved up to 5th in the standings after her win. Kim Patterson in row number 2. As Kim Patterson, 23rd in the point standings. And Alexandria Sarnes, who just needs some good luck going her way. Sarnes is 41st in points. She is neck dead last of the part-time drivers, but still ahead of Samantha Johnson. As you look at the rest of the, of the qualifying results, and these trucks will now roll off behind the pace truck, and your points are as follows. Abigail Lynn's the points leader by 162 points over Abigail Furling, the Abigail and Abigail Show. Claudia Flores dropped down the spot to third in the standings, 174 back. 195 back is Lane, Lena Lydia, who is fourth in the standings. Ruby Walker, last week's winner in fifth, starting in second. Ruby White fell down to sixth, 227 points back. Then it's Aurora Combs, Shayla Askarov, Maisie Cream, and Eva Mata completing your top ten. They are 246, 250, 259, and 272 back of the points leaders. Time for the AutoZone 150 here at Memphis Motorsports Park. As we're racing under the lights here today, we're not going to do what I tried to do earlier, do a double test, because that would not work. Green flag's in the air. We're racing at Memphis. And it looks like Ruby Walker tried to get a good runoff, tried to get a head start, tried to get in the front of Naomi Hudson. Unfortunately, that didn't work. Naomi just mashes the throttle. She'll lead the first lap here at Memphis. Here comes Kim Patterson in the 88 machine. Kim Patterson comes into this race. Uh, 23rd in the point standings. I want to check real quickly and make sure I didn't forget anybody as far as the drivers are concerned. And it looks like I got everybody. Sweet. Kim Patterson has only two top fives and three top tens so far this season. Still has not found victory in lane yet in that Menard Chevrolet. After this uh, race is over, and as I said, we'll be not only halfway through the truck season, we also have 12 more stops left to go until the uh, until we go to the finale. Abigail Lynn was your points leader coming into this race, truck number one. Right now she's 23rd. The driver that was trying to run her down for the points lead, that would be Abigail Furley. She last time by scored in 37th. Team has race second in points. So not the runs that either of them needed for today, but uh, we'll see what happens in this event. Next week, we head to the Kansas Speedway, which all three series will be in action. Kim Patterson still your race leader.
approaching the midway point of tonight's race here at Memphis. Kim Patterson still your race leader. Same distance as we had last week at Mem or at uh, Milwaukee. That was our last race. This week we are at Memphis. Next week we're heading to Kansas Speedway, which the Diva Cup Series drivers return from their off week. April Glover currently running in the second position. Glover fell four spots down to 24th in the point standings after a poor run last week at Milwaukee. She'll look to bounce back here tonight with another strong finish. She's also a driver yet to go to victory lane. Naomi Hudson fell down the third. Alex Andrews starts fourth. Aaron Walsh is fifth. Jayla Durez in sixth. Ruby Walker, last week's winner in 7th. Stephanie Liera, 8th. 19th, a Turner and 10th, Hanukkah Watanabe. It was announced that Stephanie Liera will not be back in that number 5 truck here in the Diva Truck Series next season. So we're not sure who will be taking over that ride. As we're going to have 6 laps of racing to go here at Memphis. Right now, if the standings were to be official, the five drivers who would go to Diva Bush Series would be Lynn, Furling, Flores, Lydia. Well, Lydia would have a ride in Bush. It would be Ruby Walker and Ruby White that would get the final transfer spots. It was announced that Lydia will stay in the Diva Bush Series next season. And, of course, the Diva Bush Series drivers will be racing here tomorrow night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as we'll go short track racing at Memphis to cap up our race weekend. And then we'll have the Diva Cup Series drivers back with Diva Trucks and Bush next week from the mile and a half of Kansas Speedway. Great dominance for Kim Patterson. Ever since she took the lead from Naomi Hudson, she has never looked back. Checking up on Abigail Lit Abigail Furling, who's still 32nd. Abigail Lynn, 20th, was your points leader. 21st for Claudia Flores. Lydia is running in 14th, so Lydia will gain a lot of points on Lydia and Walker will gain points on Abigail Lynn, who will still have the points lead because she almost has a full race lead. On them heading into this week's race as we got the white flag in the air. One more lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. And coming off of going through three and four for the final time. What a dominant run for Kim Patterson as she'll take the advance Auto Parts 150 here tonight from Memphis. What a win for her. Kim Patterson, the winner. Great run for her. Glover will get second. Naomi Hudson, Alexandria Sarnes. This is a well-needed run for her. Aaron Walsh will get fifth. Jayla Durazin gets sixth. Durazin came into this race 16th of the point, so she'll move her way through the standings. Ruby Walker 
One week after her first win of the year, comes home in seventh. Hanako Watanabe comes away with eight. She was 18th in the points, so she'll move her way through the front. Samantha Johnson, well-needed run. Dead last in points of the full-time drivers. And everybody, this is her first top 10 and ninth. And Stephanie Liera will come away in the 10th position. Liera came into this race uh, 13th in the point standing. So it's going to be interesting to see where this is going to situate her, if she is going to be inside the top 10 in points or not. Tina Turner, Olga Scott, Shayla Askarov, Elena Lydia, and Carolina Bradley were your top 15. As you look on down to the remainder of the finishing results, Maisie Creighton finished dead last. Not sure what happened to her or Tatiana Guerra, but all 42 trucks that started this race all finished on the lead lap. But a couple of notables I see here. Abigail Furling, 31st, came in this race second in points, so that's not the run she was hoping for. Flores finished 21st, was third in points. Lynn finished 20th. And she was your points leader coming into this race. So Memphis played a major part in the point shakeup. And we're going to see that heading into next week's race at Kansas. But thank you all for joining me for tonight's Truck Series race. If you enjoyed tonight's race, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, to become part of the PCS Rig Crew today. We showed your full finish results. The point standings will be down in the description heading into next week's race at Kansas. We got Diva Bush tomorrow night. Hope you'll join us for that. Until then, I've been Diva setting off. Good night for Memphis. You've been watching another broadcast of PCS Ray TV, the best in a racing around the world since 2017.